what kinds of information do people need if they feel that they've been discriminated against and they want to lodge some kind of complaint? What should they be thinking about? Well, folks should understand that a lot of times when you're in that crisis, uh, either with an employer or with a landlord or in a store or a theater or anything like that, you don't always have to feel like you have to prove everything that happened to you. You might just have questions about whether what happened was legal or not. And that's one of the reasons we exist is to answer those kind of questions for folks. What are some of the more common complaints that you are able to resolve? Well, you know, the by far the most uh, the area that gets the most complaints in our agency is family leave. People who are at work feel they need to take some time off work in order to take care of someone who is sick or hurt at home or th- themselves, uh, and and very often we're able to get those resolved with an employer without having to go through a whole complaint process. Are there any myths or misconceptions that people might have about hate, how the agency works that might, I don't know, lead to a bad outcome? Or is there something people should know about really that they don't know? Well, we first, we want folks to know that we're there for them. And because uh, uh, and, and cause some may not know that. And not just for employment circumstances, but we investigate all state and federal housing complaints for the state of Oregon as well as complaints of discrimination in in public uh, places. So first you have to know uh, that we're there uh, and we're easily accessible either on the web or or by telephone. I think that a lot of people probably, well our readers are predominantly people of color. Um, Do I know that a lot of people who are coming from North Northeast Portland feel as though they're not really going to be listened to. And I wanted to ask you, in your, um, in your staff, among your staff, do you feel as though people of color are, are well represented among your employees, people that might really understand um, the issues that people are, are, that people are bringing their complaints about? Well, I'd want, folks, I'd want folks to keep a couple things in mind. One of them is uh, our mission at the Bureau is to protect people's civil rights. We are the chief, the state's chief law enforcement agency in protecting individual rights like that. Uh, we have uh, folks at our agency that are people of color, but at the same time are people that have, some of them for decades, of experience in making sure that folks' rights are protected. I, I'm telling you, we just believe to our core that the absolute bedrock of the democracy is to make sure that people have Uh, equal access, and equal opportunity in society. And that's why we exist. Can you talk a little bit more about the two avenues um, of your your current strategy that you were just discussing a few minutes ago? Can you give a few more, just a few more details? Well, two very important things for the state of Oregon right now. Uh, One of them is to make sure, especially with budget cuts at the state and federal level, that we don't miss a beat in protecting people's civil rights. It's an absolute necessity for society. And so regardless of the budget situation, we will remain dedicated to aggressively protecting people's rights. The second is uh, people have to have clear pathways to earning a living wage for themselves and their families, especially uh, women and people of color. And so our apprenticeship training programs, our, our hands, and it's a large hand in the state's workforce development system, Um, We will be doing everything we can to reach out to communities of color to make sure that they have access to those training programs that can then get them in living wage jobs that can take care of themselves and their family. And now is the most important time. I was just going to say, where you are, you're right behind the eight ball with what's happening with the economy. Um, What is your feeling about that? It seems very scary to a lot of people, very emotional time. What's your feeling about the future of employment and the, uh, the unemployment rate, which has, has the Oregon unemployment rate doubled in the past year? Did I see that statistic correctly? The unemployment rate is up to 10.9 percent. It, it has, and uh, it, it is a serious situation. So I understand why people are concerned, but it's something that we're taking very seriously because of that. But we've got to understand it's a crisis right now, but we're probably looking at only three to four years before we start coming out of the crisis. 
So now is the time to start investing in public education and job training to make sure that folks are ready three years from now to take advantage of the job creation that Oregon is going to see. Do you see any particular areas of employment that are going to be really hot in three years? Do you have a crystal ball? I, I, w- I wish I had a real crystal ball, but you know what? I think there are two areas that people are, are should expect are going to be great for Oregon. One of them is the healthcare industry. Around the nation, people look to Oregon for two things in particular. One of them is health care. We have great facilities here. We have jobs available now in, uh, in, in, in nursing, in certified nursing assistants and others. What we need to do is train people to get into those jobs. And I think that, that those opportunities are only going to increase. The other are trades jobs in the renewable energy industry. There are companies across the globe that know that Oregon is one of the best places in the world to start building solar panels, building wind turbines, setting up uh, um, uh, 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 wave energy facilities on the coast. Uh, And if we play our cards right in the next few years, there are going to be thousands of jobs for folks that are trained and ready for them. Anything else that uh, scanner readers should know about all the issues that you brought up and about these potential opportunities that you're talking about. Anything else we haven't touched on yet? Well, first of all, those two things are things people should keep in mind. If people feel like they have been uh, mistreated in some way, uh, then they need to feel comfortable calling the Bureau. It's, It's why we exist. We understand the struggle of civil rights. It isn't just an old struggle. It's one that continues, uh, and that's what we're there for. And the other is, I want folks to be as positive as they can about the situation they're in and be preparing for the jobs that are going to be here. And we can help link people up with the appropriate places to get the skills they need to take advantage uh, of that. The trick is to just give us a call. Okay, well, thanks a lot for coming in and chatting with us about it. Thank you.